गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ यस जे भाटमारे एंड इन दिस लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल इंजीनियरिंग वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट ड्यूरिंग दिस लॉकडाउन पीरियड वी आर टेकिंग द लेक्चर्स ऑनलाइन मोड एंड दिस इज द थर्ड लेक्चर ऑन सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट ओके सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट काइंड्स ऑफ वेस्ट वेस्ट जनरेशन सॉलिड वेस्ट इन इंडिया एंड सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट मेथड्स ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द वेस्ट वॉट डू यू नो अबाउट वेस्ट और वट आर द वेस्ट और हाउ कैन यू डिफाइन द वेस्ट ओके वेस्ट ऑल्सो नोन एज रबिश री यूज गैरबेज जंक दैट इज unwanted or unless materials in biology waste is any of the many unwanted substances expelled from living organisms metabolic waste such as urea and sweat okay then what are the kinds of wastes first solid wastes that is waste in solid forms domestic commercial and industrial wastes example plastics bottles cans papers scrap iron and other trash these are comes under solid wastes okay so next is liquid waste wastages in liquid forms for example domestic washings chemicals oils waste water from ponds manufacturing industries and other sources these are comes under liquid wastes then biodegradable can be degraded that is paper wood fruits and others okay then non degradable non degradable cannot be degraded that means plastic bottles old machines cans styrofoams containers and others these are comes under non biodegradable then hazardous wastes substances unsafe to use commercially industrially agriculturally or economically and have any of the following properties ignitability corrosivity reactivity and toxicity these are the hazardous wastes then non hazardous substances safe to use commercially industrially agriculturally or economically and do not have any of those properties mentioned above these substances usually create disposal problems okay then classification of wastes according to the their origin and type okay municipal solid waste under this solid waste that include threshold household garbage rubbish construction and packaging materials trade refuges etc are managed by an any municipality then second biomedical wastes solid or liquid wastes including container products generated during diagnosis in treatment and research activities of medical science then industrial wastes liquid and solid wastes that are generated by manufacturing and processing units of various industries like chemical petroleum coal metal gas sanitary and paper etc then agricultural wastes waste generated from farming activities these are substances are mostly biodegradable okay then fishery wastes waste generated due to fishery activities and last e wastes electronic wastes generated from any modern establishments they may be described as discarded electrical or electronic devices some electronic scrap components such as crts wires circuits mobile computers etc okay these are the sources of wastes households industries etc okay agriculture fisheries you can see in the figures what are the different sources of waste by this pie chart you can see what is the percentage of paper and paper board plastic wood food scraps metals grass yard remnants rubber leather or textile and others 
that is 28.5 percent paper and papered board food scraps are 13.9 percent 13.4 percent yard and trimmings plastics are 12.4 percent metals are 9 percent rubber leather and textiles are 8.4 percent wood 6.4 percent 4.6 percent glass and others are 3.4 percent these are the sources of waste in the percentage then structure of solid waste first solid waste that is reuse and trash under reuse garbage and rubbish are there and under trash bulky waste tv refrigerators goods broken furniture are been then then under rubbish non degradable grass rubber glass rubber metal plastics or non metal sets are set and under garbage vegetables meats food waste and other readily degradable organic wastes are included okay slowly degradable paper wood products textile etc comes under rubbish okay then waste generation rates of some asian countries first nepal 240 gni cube that is waste generation 0.2 to 0.5% kg per capita per day per kg per capita day reference is taken from unep 2000 similarly in india 450 gni cube that is 0.3 to 0.6 kg per capita day okay these are the uh, waste generation rates of some asian countries such as nepal california bangladesh vietnam pakistan indonesia india china sri lanka philippines thailand okay then msw generation from the metropolitan cities of india that is state has been given city has been given and urban population in lakhs according to 2001 has been given and msw generated meter tons per day has been shown in this table okay in maharashtra mumbai is having 1 crore 19 lakh 14390 according to population 2001 and msw generated metric tons per day is 7500 in pune it is 1000 metric tons per day and in nagpur 700 metric tons per day msw generated okay then solid waste in india 7.2 million tons of hazardous wastes one square meter of additional landfill area every year rupees 1600 crore for treatment and disposal of these wastes in addition to this industries discharge about 150 million tons of high volume low hazard waste every year which is mostly dumped on open low lying land areas okay growth of solid waste in india waste is growing by leaps and bounds in 1981 to 1991 population of mumbai increased from 8.2 million to 12.3 million during the same period municipal solid waste has grown from 3200 tons to 5355 tons an increase of 67% city like bangalore produces 2000 tons of waste per annum waste collection is very low for all indian cities waste collection in india primarily by the city municipal municipality no gradation of waste produce product example biodegradable glasses poly bags paper sets etc okay dumps these wastes to the city outskirts local raddi wala or kabadi wala collecting small iron pieces by magnets collecting glass bottles collecting paper from recycling okay these are the waste collection in india then how solid waste affected us in recent years in mumbai 2005 closed the sewage line due to large number of plastic bags blast in the bhushan steel factory at noida caused due to imported scrap from iran reduction in the number of migratory birds due to consumption of contaminated fruits 
animals dying on streets and farmland due to consumption of plastic bags which blocks the food movement in their stomach. Then health impacts of solid wastes. Exposure to hazardous waste can affect human health, children being more vulnerable to these pollutants. Improperly operated incineration plants cause air pollution and improperly managed and designed landfill attract all type of insects that spread diseases. Direct handling of solid waste results in chronic diseases with the waste workers. Then first landfill. It is the most traditional method of waste disposal. Waste is directly dumped into disused quarries, mining oils or borrow pits. You can see in the image. Disposed waste is compacted and covered with soil. Gases generated by the decomposing waste material are often burned to generate power. It is generally used for domestic waste. What are the advantages and disadvantages of landfilling? First, advantages landfill site is a cheap waste disposal option for the local council. Second, jobs will be created for local people. Third, lots of different type of waste can be disposed of by landfill in comparison to other waste disposal methods. The gases given off by the landfill site could be collected and used for generating power. Disadvantages The site will look ugly while it is being used for landfill. Dangerous gases are given off from landfill sites that cause local air pollution and contribute to global warming. Then local streams could become polluted with toxins seeing through the ground from the landfill site. Once the site has been filled, it might not be able to used for redevelopment as it might be too polluted. These are the advantages and disadvantages of pollution, poll landfilling, land required for disposal of MSW, emission of methane from landfill. These are the graph showing different emission of methane from landfill and land required for disposal of MSW. Then incineration. Incineration is a waste treatment process that involves the combustion of soil waste at 1000 degrees centigrade. Waste materials are converted into ash, flue gas and heat. The ash is mostly formed by the inorganic constituents of the waste and gases due to the organic waste. The heat generated by incineration is used to generate electric power. You can see in the figure the steam is used to propel turbines to generate electricity. Then what are the advantages of incinerations? First advantage is minimum of land is needed compared to other disposal methods. Second the weight of the waste is reduced to 25% of the initial value. No risk of polluting local streams and groundwaters as in landfills. Incineration plants can be located close to residential areas and gases are used to generate power. These are the advantages of incineration waste disposal system. And the disadvantages are expensive, required skilled labor, sir. The chemicals that would be released into the air could be strong pollutants and may destroy ozone layer. Major disadvantage this is and high energy requirement is there. Then compaction. The waste is compacted or compressed. It also breaks up large or fragile items of waste. This process is inconspicuous in the field at the back end of many garbage collection vehicles. Deposit refuse at bottom of slope for best compaction and control of blowing litter. You can see in the figure. Then pyrolysis. Pyrolysis is defined as thermal degradation of waste in the absence of air to produce char. Prolysis oil and syngas, example, the conversion of wood to crawlocker, charcoal, 
also it is defined as destructive distillation of waste in the absence of oxygen external source of heat is employed in this process you can see in the figure pre treatment of biomass char collection quench system bio oil storage pyrolysis reaction has been shown then first two and third figures pyrolysis reaction in detail the char collection and quench system in detail in figure shows different processes then three r's reduce reuse and recycle these are the three most important r's in reduce you can help by recycling one third of all garbage is packaging buy things that are in packages that can be recycled or are made of recycled materials when you buy something small say no thanks to a bag then reuse many things can be reused before you throw them out use coffee cans and cottage cheese containers for storage use bags of paper or bags of used envelopes for joint jotting notes put leftovers in re reusable label containers instead of using wraps and foil use old clothes as rags for cleaning instead of paper towards towels have a garage sell or donate clothes books or toys that you don't use anymore and the third recycle each year we use 25 billion plastic containers 30 billion bottles and jars 65 billion aluminum cans 100 billion pounds of paper these three r's are most important so lastly we conclude that it is found that which increase in the global population and the rising demand for food and other essentials there has been a rise in the amount of waste being generated daily by each household waste that is not properly damaged managed especially etc excreta and other liquid and solid waste from households and the community are a serious health hazard and lead to the spread of infectious diseases thank you so if you want any another information or in deep reading you can go through these references thank you thank you very much